I can feel when it starts to happen. I love that. I, I can listen to the loadout. Uh, uh, Jackson Brown. If I listen to the loadout, you can see it's happening right now. What the fuck is wrong with me? Can you play that, please? No, don't play the fucking loadout. Hey, Hawthorne. Don't play the fucking loadout. Hawthorne, play it. <laughs> Hawthorne. Hawthorne. <laughs> Play the lowdown now. Now. Oh my god. Play it now. Make it happen. Three. Oh. This is faster. I mean, Can't if hear you it. are if you are if you are a touring if you're a touring comic or a touring musician and you're doing if you don't hear this song and ball. Oh, I love this song. It's the fucking best goddamn song. If you think about Maybe all the show. dudes, all those roadies backstage listening to this, I just go excited. It's when you get off, when you get off stage in arena, they're all waiting for you. They're all waiting. Saying, the second you're done, they, they come on, and the, and all those dudes are backstage right now, just hard dudes, t- tatted up. Just, I, I, it's making me very emotional. I gotta, I gotta stop listening. Hey to this. Hawthorne, so I'll cry now. Look up uh, Robert Wilson interview, Abstract Painter. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's cry. I listen to that. We played that at the party. This is my dad. This is my dad who died. This is your dad? Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, I started seriously thinking of becoming a painter when I was about 18. I uh, saw an article in Time Magazine. about that time, it was, uh, I believe, January 1960, January 11th edition, and it had some photographs of paintings by Frank Stella, who was just a young artist in New York at the time. He was uh, under 30 years old, and uh, I remember seeing those paintings, never seeing anything like that before, and it suddenly just flashed through my mind that art was idea that you could convey ideas through painting. It wasn't just limited to images. It was a real personal discovery for me at the time. That's what uh, sort of set me on my path. See, um, I cried a little bit. I cried about one-tenth as much to the image of my dead father as you cried to Jackson Brown's (laughs) music which is pretty pathetic no what your dad said at the beginning made me cry a true revolutionary doesn't fight against the status quo they fight within themselves yeah that yeah. is fucking brilliant yeah that is was, brilliant he was a very wise man i, I I've, really I've, love I've, a lot. I've, I've i've consistently consistently felt that and not know how to articulate that where i go i am i am I genuinely am a shake up the system guy, yeah. but I, I do it within me because I go, hold on, when you're feeling this, why are you feeling this? We this you're wrong. Like I, I, my dad instilled that in me that whenever I had an idea, he'd challenge it, and he forced me to challenge every one of my ideas. It was a brilliant statement your dad made. Hmm. Hmm. God, you're really lucky to have him as a dad. Yeah, I miss him a lot. That stinks. I miss him a lot. I really do. I dedicated this book to him. I said, uh, for my dad, Robert Wilson, thanks for teaching me about the soul. And it makes so much sense why you are the dude you are now. Well, can you plug my fucking happiness show on Peacock? (laughs) No one watches Peacock. <laughs> we got to get some eyeballs over there. Uh, we got to get some eyeballs over there, please. Uh, you are so good. Bert, make it you happen. You are so good. Or you are so good. You're, you're so-, so much better in person than you are on TV. You're my second favorite bear, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>